everyone, my name is Paige with Sudsy Soapworks. Today we're going to be talking about where I buy my fragrance oils and my essential oils from. Um, I'm going to give you a list of all the suppliers and then tell you a couple of my favorites from each one. So first of all, the difference between fragrance oils and essential oils is that fragrance oils are pretty much made in a lab, they're chemically made, and essential oils are naturally extracted from plants. You can get natural fragrance oils, however they typically don't hold up well in CP soap. Um, you could use them in like lotions, any skincare products, but I don't recommend using them in soap just because the scent usually won't retain itself through the cure. Alright, so first we're going to talk about my top three fragrance oil suppliers. Number one on the list is Nature's Garden. So this is Nature's Garden right here. Three reasons why I like them is because they are a better value. Um, they retain scent. Their scents are very strong, and they have a large selection. So my top favorites are Mango Sorbet. This one is very strong. It holds up well in cold process, and I use it in like scrubs and lotions. Christmas Cabernet. This isn't just a Christmas scent. This is an amazing scent. It holds up great in CP. If I remember right, it does discolor a little bit. Make sure that when you are picking out fragrances, you look at how they perform. All of the websites will show how they perform in cold process soap, if that's how you're going to use them, and if they discolor or not. And then my third favorite is Cranberry Rhubarb Preserves. This I can't even explain, it just smells, it smells so good. It's very sweet, fruity, it's amazing. And then Huckleberry Harvest, this is another really good one. I use this in bath bombs. Kissing and Telling, so this is a dupe of the very well-known bombshell fragrance by Victoria's Secret. It smells exactly like it. And I use this in CP soap and it retains the scent very well. It doesn't accelerate trace, love it. And then Carrot Cupcake. This one also is a very great scent. If I remember right, it does discolor quite a bit, but it smells exactly like a Carrot Cupcake. It's great. Alright, so next we're going to navigate their website so I can show you what to look for when you're buying fragrances. Alright, so here's the Nature's Garden website. They sell a lot of soap supplies, um, skincare supplies to make your own products. But today we're going to look at the fragrance oils. They categorize them in different categories like designer fragrances. You can look at them alphabetically. Let's go to alphabetical. And we are going to go to the N. Alright, so let's just pick a random one. So I'm going to pick Mango and Mandarin's Fragrance Oil. So we're going to scroll down. Right at the top it's going to say it smells like freshly sliced mandarins. Um, you also want to look at the fragrance usage rate. So these are the safe rates to use them in your products. And they're going to be usually different for every single product that you use. So for example, bath oils, soaps, and bath gels, your maximum use is 5%. So you want to make sure you don't use any more than 5%, otherwise it can't be considered safe for the skin. Down here, there's a flash point of fragrance, and that means you don't want to really, you don't want to put your fragrance in something that is hotter than that, or it could either break down the fragrance or you'll, you'll lose the scent. So right down here, it says how it performs in each in each product, which I really love because not all websites will do this, but for example, in soap, there's no acceleration, no separation, no rising, and no discoloration. Soap's like a dream and is strong. So that's how you navigate Nature's Gardens website. Alright, so my next favorite supplier is Wholesale Supplies Plus, and this supplier I went through first. Um, they use Crafter's Choice fragrances, and these fragrances are amazing. Um, again, same rules, you want to make sure that you look to see if it discolors and if that's something that you want in your product. 
um, if it's even safe to use in soap because some fragrance seals you'll buy and it's not safe to use on the skin maybe only in candles or waxes but my best selling fragrance is cotton candy twist and I've tried a lot of cotton candy fragrance oils and this one I think personally smells the most accurate like cotton candy I and it just and it discolors less this one has a vanilla content of only three percent and that's the discoloring factor of it um i really like that they label it on their products because nature's garden i from what i know i can never find it on the bottle um but i like that it labels it, it also has a flash point on here so this is my number one selling fragrance my second favorite fragrance is caribbean coconut smells so good it smells just like coconuts in a way it kind of has that sunscreen smell um but it still smells amazing i use this in lotions i have not tried this in soap yet i have tried this in soap i use a vanilla color stabilizer for this um you don't have to it's just what i prefer because i don't want it to discolor to brown avo bath so this is a popular lush dupe fragrance. I don't know what that one is called there. I think it might be called Avo Bath as well. But I use this in bath bombs. It smells so good. The scent is very strong. Highly recommend. And then my second best seller is Love Spell. So this is also a dupe of the popular Victoria's Secret fragrance, Love Spell. It smells exactly like it. It smells so good. And I carry almost all of my different products in this scent and people love it. Alright, so now we're going to move on to Wholesale Supplies Plus's website. Alright, so this is Wholesale Supplies Plus Plus's website. So they sell a bunch of soap making supplies and skincare supplies that you need to make other skincare products. I get a lot of my supplies from this because they do offer free shipping. Um, you do want to check though because they are not always the cheapest. I think because they offer free shipping, they definitely get that money back in some of their products. So I found products half the price on here. So, in order to get their fragrance oils, you're going to go to the top and hit fragrances. And they categorize them by notes, um, by comparable fragrances, um, fragrances by the season. Fragrances A to Z. So we are going to go to Victoria's Secret comparable fragrances. So I am going to find Love Spell. So Love Spell is an EO and FO blend, so essential oil and fragrance oil blend. You'll scroll down um, under additional information, you'll find the notes of the fragrance. It contains 20.1% of essential oils and resins. The flashpoint, the vanilla content. And then down below it says, right at the top here, cold process soap test results. So they tested this fragrance with this recipe. They give you the specific recipe they tested the fragrance with. No acceleration, no ricin, and the color after here is yellow. And here are the IFRA maximum skin exposure levels. So this is the percent, again, that you can use in the product that's considered safe. So you can use up to 13.3%. Now with this scent, this fragrance, it is very, very strong. I, I use very little of it. A little goes a long way. All right, so now we are going to move on to one of my other favorites, Rainbow Berry. These are my top three favorite scents from Rainbow Berry. So I have Rose Gold. This is a favorite across my customer base. This scent is so great and it works very well in cold process. I haven't had any problems with anything with that. And then Lychee Red Tea. I've tried this in cold process as well. It did not discolor for me um, and it retains its scent very well, but this, this smells amazing. And then I have a, a masculine fragrance here, it's Scotch and Whiskey. A lot of the men love this one. It has a very good vanilla scent to it. It's great. All right, so 
we are going to go to Brambleberry's website. They offer, I think it's a 10% off coupon on your first purchase. Um, they do not offer free shipping, but their, their fragrances are amazing. I highly recommend trying them out. So we are going to go to Shop by Craft and just go to cold process soap and fragrance oils. So they definitely have a lot of fragrance oils. I think um, Wholesale Supplies Plus and Nature's Garden definitely have a lot more, but their fragrance oils are to die for. So we're going to go to Lilac. I actually really love Lilac too. This is a really good scent from them. So under product details, first thing is vanilla content, zero. The flash point, it does discolor to tan. And the oil color is light yellow. Performance behaves well on cold process soap, and then right here recommended for cold process soap. Yes, if it's eye safe, no, lip safe, no. So it has all of the information that you need right there. It's really easy to find. Here's rose gold, my, my absolute favorite from here. So oil color yellow, discoloration tan, 0.7% vanilla content. And it even has the scent family too, I really like that as well. Alright, so now we are going to move on to essential oils. So I always got my essential oils through Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have recently just found a new supplier that I really love. And you get a very good value for the essential oils. It's not free shipping, but it still ends up being cheaper than what I found at Wholesale Supplies Plus. So I have Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is Crafter's Choice, and New Directions Aromatics. All right, first we're gonna talk about Wholesale Supplies Plus. So Wholesale Supplies Plus, they carry a lot of essential oils. You wanna be careful when you're buying essential oils just to kind of do your research on them because some essential oils you can't use on the skin. For example, cinnamon essential oil, it's not good for your skin because it could burn your skin or cause irritation, so you want to be careful with that. But we're going to navigate the Wholesale Supplies Plus website and we're going to go to Essential Oils and they have their top sellers, aromatherapy, essential oils safe for the lips. So we are going to go to A through K. Alright, so we're just gonna pick a random one. Let's go to bergamot. Alright, so under additional information, it has like the flash point, it has vanilla content, and how it, per it behaves in cold process soap. So they give you the recipe again, um, if it accelerates, if it has ricine, the color after cure and separation, and then very, very, very important, you still want to pay attention to the IFRA maximum skin exposure levels just because it is natural doesn't mean that you want to put a bunch on your skin because that's still not safe. These are very, very concentrated oils. So always make sure that you're paying attention to the IFRA skin exposure levels. So for soap, for example, you can put up to 5%, nothing more than that. So next we are going to talk about New Directions Aromatics. They also have a lot of supplies in order to make different bath and body care products. Um, so we are going to be looking at oils and essential oils. And here you can navigate them A through C, different alphabetical order. So let's look at lavender essential oil. So there's different lavender essential oils. I always get, I think it's like the yeah, 4042, this one. Okay, more info. So this is the one I always use. It's very strong, lasts well in CP, and it's definitely a lot cheaper than some of the other ones. Um, so down here, I really like this because it gives you good essential oils that it blends with, um, the strength of it, the color of it, 
even the processing method. So you can look at the different documents that they provide with it, um, the safety data sheet. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know what you use for your fragrance oil or essential oil suppliers. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!